So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will discuss about the simulation of consolidated undrained triaxial test in Pluxis 2D 2016 version. Uh, in the previous videos of Pluxis, uh, we have already uh, discussed about the simulation of consolidated drained triaxial test. So, uh, let's start this video uh, and we will try to simulate uh, uh, this uh, CU test. Uh, using an example from a research article, you can see here the CU test uh, simulation. Uh, I have taken this example from this research articles. The link of this uh, uh, research article is given in the description. You can download it as well. Stiffness and strength parameters for hardening soil model of soft and stiff bank and stiff Bangkok place. So uh, I'll be using this uh, research articles and we'll simulate the consolidated undrained triaxial test. Uh, here you can see that uh, circular uh, sample. So we will use axisymmetric case. Axisymmetric case we will deal only uh, one half of this sample. So uh, these are the dimensions given over here and these are the properties given here. You can see here. Uh, for hardening soil model and then we are given this uh, result so uh, we will try to generate uh, such results using Pluxis so uh, let's start uh, from the Pluxis software so uh, start new project and then model firstly you will have to select axis metric model yes and then x maximum is one and y max is one because uh, maximum uh, value of uh, the geometry in x direction is one meter and in y direction it is also one so that is why we have selected one and one okay now the next step is to create borehole click over here this dialog box will appear click on add here uh, i want this the top as one so now the borehole has been created now you have to define the material properties new and here I will be giving it a title of HSM hardening soil model. Uh, now the next thing is to change the failure uh, or material model that is hardening soil. We will be using this model and behavior undrained A. You can study the detail of undrained behavior A and undrained behavior of B as well. Here you can see the material properties are given over here. Since we are modeling the uh, triaxial test, we are not concerned about the unit weight. So that is why uh, we will not change these default values and we will directly go to the parameters value here. The E50 value is given as 690 and this value E odometer ref is given as 635 and M value is 1. Then uh, cohesion is given as 1 and 27 degrees is the angle of internal friction. Rest of the parameters are same. So click OK, the angle of internal friction. Rest of the parameters are same. So click OK. Now the material properties have been defined. Now we have to assign the material properties and click over here. Now the material properties have been assigned. OK, the uh, geometry is ready now. No. In the next step, we have to uh, assign this load because in triaxial test, uh, the soil sample is surrounded by the confining stress. Since we are dealing with the axisymmetric case, so we will apply the loading in these two directions only because of the axisymmetry. So the next step is to uh, assign the loading. So we will jump to the structure mode. And here you can see the line load. We have to apply the UDL. So we will select this one from this point to this point and this point. Okay, 
the next step is to assign the confining pressure so here you can see the confining pressure uh, if you can see here uh, here the confining pressure uh, is 138 kilonewton per meter square so what I will do is I will assign the property I will assign minus 138 loading over here minus 138 similarly uh, okay 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 so over here minus one three eight okay and we'll have to select this point now and here we will do this as uh, zero and uh, here minus one three eight okay now the uh, confining pressure uh, has been assigned you can see here the next step is to generate mesh okay click medium to coarse okay and the mesh uh, will be generated in a while so we can view the mesh here Now the mesh has been generated. Now the mesh has been generated. Click close. And in the next step, uh, you can check the flow conditions. The water table uh, is at the uh, bottom. Now move to the state construction. In the initial phase, uh, we have to set a uh, submission M weight as zero because uh, in the initial, we are not concerned about the weight so okay so we have to uh, add another phase that is the activation of confining stress so here i will give it a title of confining stress and uh, we'll have to select undrained behavior uh, ignore undrained behavior because during confining we ignore the undrained behavior and click okay now we have to activate the and line load activate no it has been activated click here and activate the line load two also uh, now we have to define the uh, geometry uh, boundary conditions as well so we'll jump to the model condition here we will have to select a deformation as uh, x minimum as normally fixed so what is x minimum uh, here x value is 0 that is minimum along this line x is minimum so it is normally fixed okay but x maximum is not fixed we will allow uh, it will, will allow, we will set it the free because water is allowed to move in from this side or move out from this side so we will set it free because during confining stress application there is consolidation oh, uh, that is why it is named as consolidated undrained because consolidation happens during confining stress application stage but undrained condition exists in shearing stage so uh, boundary along y minimum uh, c uh, y is zero over here and along this boundary y is zero so y minimum is uh, well, normally fixed and free okay now the next step is groundwater so uh, boundary along x minimum we will close it because we will not allow water to move from uh, this boundary so we will simply close this one closed okay now the confining stress stage has been simulated uh, we will have to add another phase that is sharing phase click double double click and sharing 
okay the ignore uh, the uh, reset displacement to zero because we don't want the influence of previous uh, displacement so okay and now simply apply the uh, here you can see here against 138 is it is approximately 112 and uh, approximately uh, 100 and something so uh, the axial stress is here the devitoric, uh, devitoric stress is 105 or 112 you can say kpa but the axial stress is basically devitoric stress uh, plus sigma 3 so 138 plus 112 uh, approximately i will be applying the stress of 250 over here because uh here so i will apply minus so i will apply minus 250 during the sharing so now uh, the all the phases are completed the next step is to uh, select the points for the curve okay select now we have to select the point for the curve so here we can select the point for the curve a and so uh, the points have been selected update and start the calculation calculate now the calculation have been uh, started So here you can see phase two is in process that is sharing. Okay, now the calculation has been uh, completed. View calculation. So here you can uh, see the different results like stresses you can absorb and deformation and so on. But we will quickly jump to our main target to generate the curves manager here new okay here we will select the project that is key here you will have to select T formations and uh, here partition strains and here you will have to select the project that is key stresses partition total stresses that is sigma y y okay now you can see the curve here uh, the confining stress application then the reset displacement to zero means displacement drops to zero and then again this curve happen now we will plot the curve here you can see the table control a copy and we will copy this here in the excel control v so uh go to v so uh go to the numbers here two decimal okay okay so the values have been plotted now here you can see that now the confining stress application is up to 138 kpa one uh, one three eight kpa after that displacement drops to zero after that displacement drops to zero and then shearing starts from 138 kpa and so on you can see it so uh, we have to uh, redefine our strain you can strain here uh, stress axial stress or debitoric stress sorry debitoric stress now here oh, as uh, equals this multiply by minus 100 to convert this into percent strain value okay now drag this one up to 247 245 okay okay so uh, the next here we have to 
convert the stresses into a debitoric stress click this one minus this one but here we have to change the formula a little bit I will put the dollar sign because every time we have to subtract 138 so that is why I'm, I'm to fix the value we have to put the sign dollar close bracket multiply by minus 1 to convert this value into positive because uh, Pluxis takes the negative value as compression value so now drag this up to this point yes now we will plot the graph here insert okay so select data select data add select data add along the x-axis we will place the strain values and along y-axis we will select the stress values debitoric stress yes okay now you can see the graph has been plotted you can further give it a setting of like here the maximum value is 30 and here the maximum value is 350 so what we will do select this and here I can select the major bound as maximum as 350 350 So here you can see the oh, sorry. Okay. No, I will select this value. Okay. So uh, Here, uh, the major bound uh, or the maximum value is 30. So, okay. Now, you can just see this. The graph is simply like that. If I set this here. So it is uh, the same you can see here the 150 so uh, this is how we can simulate the uh, consolidated unrained test so I have done this for 138 uh, uh, the confining stress you can do the other as well let's try this uh, value as 276 so close okay yes and here move to this now i will select these both phases now in the uh, i will have to apply the value that is uh, you can see here one uh, 276 so in the confining stress uh, you will have to select this phase and apply this value minus 276 here minus 276 and here as well the confining stress is minus 276 
minus 276 okay now go to the shearing phase and if we have to apply the value that is approximately how much if you see here for this value it is 200 uh, almost 200 so uh, it was uh, uh, 250 uh, 200 and something so it was 250 in the previous case so 250 plus 250 we will apply approximately 500 uh, this is not a pro uh, completely uh, 250 but we uh, being on the safer side will apply 250 on uh, in actual this value is approximately 212 or something like that so here i will apply the confined uh, axial stress as minus 500 and but in this case this load is minus 276 276 okay now start the calculation the same procedure will be repeated for the third uh, 414 uh, sigma 3 value 414 kpa uh, confining stress so now the calculation is in progress Okay, now you view the calculation results. Now, uh, I will quickly jump to the curve manager. Same procedure, new. Here, select the project key, deformations, total strains, sorry total Cartesian strains like this one project key stresses Cartesian total stresses sigma y okay now you can see this graph and uh, again go to the table control a copy and copy here and copy here save or control v and again go to the more numbers number two decimal okay now okay now the same procedure will have to be adopted you can see here uh, up till minus 276 here uh, the reset uh, displacement is reset to zero and then again shearing is applied so uh, the, in the similar way we will define strain here and stress here and from here we will start apply this zero multiply by minus 100 okay drag this value up to this point okay like this okay then further drag it down okay now apply the formula for strain uh, stress this value or minus this value will have to put the sign of dollar because every time it will be subtracted that is shift 4 bracket close multiply by minus 1 okay now drag this value now you can add the data in this graph click data add okay
here you can see the curve so in this way uh, you can see the same pattern over here uh, you can uh, there may be a scale difference but the exact values are exactly the same you can see the graph like okay So you can uh, see the exactly the same pattern. So uh, similarly, you can perform uh, the calculation procedure for the third uh, confining stress. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, uh, don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you. And Allah Hafiz will meet you in the next video.